What's up guys, it's Punchy, and today I'm here to talk about the second official Deep Oaken Content Creator Tournament, and this time it was a Battle Royale. I'll be showing you everything about this game mode that we know about, who actually won, and my perspective on everything. So, this tournament was a Battle Royale, just like Fortnite and just like GPO, but this time we were in Deep Oaken, which actually worked pretty damn well. To be honest, right now, Agamatsu and I are working very hard to suggest this game mode for the main game, so maybe you guys will be able to play the same thing we did, keep an eye out. Let's talk about this Deep Oaken Battle Royale, and yo, I think it might be fun enough to actually be at it. So, right off the bat, everybody spawns in with a randomized race, so you can't really finesse with racial bonuses. I think I got Vesperian, Grimoire, Adret, and Etrian, and a few other ones, but yeah, this is all RNG, and I kinda like that. After that, all players jump off our Sky Island, landing down below and wherever you really want, and with these flimsy gliders, we were able to fall down and cancel our fall damage to speed up our landings, but I never really took that risk. Some players legit just jumped off and fell to their deaths like instantly, but I'm not sure why. Well, once we landed, there was loot everywhere, and that was really fun. We each had a couple of options for loot, and let me give you a showcase. Small Yonshul Shrines let anybody sit down and receive any talents. I'm not too sure how many we got, it had to be two I think, but any common or advanced talent could be picked up instantly without having the Rex, which is cool. There were also some red shrines which gave multiple rare talents, which was also really goaded. I heard about this after the tournament, but a lot of testers went through and picked all the useless talents and deleted them, so we played with everything that was combat viable. If you were lucky, you'd also come across a bunch of purple mini shrines which gave mantras. You could honestly get anything in Deep Oaken from Lightning Strike to Graceful Flame, and seriously, this would win you the game. During the tournament, there were not Oath mantras, but if this drops, they'll probably be implemented as well. After this, the other stuff you could pick up were chests, full of any equipment or enchant stones, but most importantly, special armor chests. Each player already spawns with rags, and a big base HP of 350, so having armor was a must. Most grey chests gave mid-tier armor, but I only saw a legendary orange armor chest like once. So yeah, the orange ones, these are super rare, but this was during our test run, so it never really counted. To be honest, many of the Deep Oaken weapons were also in-game, and I think you could really get anything. I remember seeing a lot of legendary weapons, and I think you could use anything. Sometimes the stats were all weird, but you know, you could still get the weapon. Now the rules were what you'd expect. Whoever survives the longest gets the most amount of points, but you gotta get grips in order to get even more of those points. A special bonus when gripping players, you steal all their talents and they even drop their weapons, so it's a pretty nice incentive, so it's worth hunting. Moving on, who actually won the tournament? You guys can view the entire point listing right here, but I'll talk about the top 5. From the bottom up, we got Dizzle and Nogo who placed 5th, and they received a restore coupon, which is pretty decent. Place 4, Fallen and Burbingish, surprisingly placed fairly low and copped a custom name and a restore coupon. The top 3 started up with Fabian and I who I think did pretty well, but we hit third place, receiving a custom name, title, and restore coupon. Still gotta figure out my title right now, so you know, we'll see what happens. Of course, the top two teams, Agamatsu, Trunks, Valakus, and Supa, received everything including Lightborn. Valakus and Supa, team number one, also got rewarded a custom weapon reskin, and we've never seen this before. So, good games to everybody involved, and I'm super excited to see next time, and I'll place even higher, trust me, trust me. Finally, let's talk about what actually got us this position. Right off the bat, our team go. decided to drop down near the pillar <laughs> building, <laughs> pillar <laughs> peak, and honestly, this was a top tier loot spot that did not Two let people. us down. Okay, so there's a mantra. You get the mantra. Hey, can I get the mantra? Yeah, it's a, this is... What's this? Zoe Hunter. Oh, a Aloe Zoe Hunter. Take it, take okay, it, take I, it, take I, it. I take it. You can take this I'm for now, this. in case we run into someone. My entire goal right here was to find a spear or something ranged, but the boy Fabian picked up a heavy, which okay, turned out to be the best for him. Okay, follow me. There's another shrine on this pillar. There's the armor shrine, I think. Okay, you're right. Yo, follow me, follow me. I see so many chests. Okay, I got some armor. Also, this spot had three armor chests, oh which gosh. might be the place to go. So after looking around, I got blessed with a damn curved blade of winds, which is not my favorite weapon, and I think the damage was really, really low, but seriously, anything can drop in this game mode. Okay, nice. People saw. I got a... Inside. People found us. They should Great be chest expert. Okay, um... Okay, can you help me get this one? I don't know how we can do that. Just come up here. It was pretty I funny because we moved stacked up and got our first Stormbreaker enchant, which okay. was huge. And now that I'm watching, this map is goaded and it was actually made in three days. Uh, so that's super impressive. I'll take it, bro. Okay, you need to heal up. Use this orb. It's gonna get used either way. Just use it. Waste it. I think we should waste them, Loki. Okay, okay. Like... There's some talents here. Make sure to get these talents. 
Don't um, that. Okay, I'm actually a track star right now, bro. I can run from anyone and anything. Yo, nice. What's here? Oh, never mind. Yeah, someone already. I got. Ga I have Gale Lunge and Lightning Stream. Although it might be a bit scummy, a hey, man. Fabian and I had to secure that oh, dub, so man. sitting down and chilling seemed to work out. Someone and I'm not gonna lie, we do look pretty cool just sitting in the canal. Okay, I don't know uh, if it's the best video. After scouting around, we pulled up on Nerp, and I think he was hiding all by himself, but bro, after seeing a dude with Stormbreaker, why would you ever do this? I, I just don't get it. <laughs> What's this? Peace, peace. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yo, that dude's, yo. We dropped down, got to hiding again, and hey, for real, some of these spots are goaded, so you can hide anywhere, okay, but at this point, it was Storm time to spam Stormbreaker. Because they haven't been fighting. Well, they just, they just throw any, oh, wow. He's using his enchant to throw people off. I can't remember what the enchant's called, but basically with that enchant, you literally just throw your weapon and it knocks people. It literally ragdolls people and does some pretty good damage. Stormbreaker enchant, yeah. Throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. Now, some of these teams got sick of us spamming at range and I started selling. Come here. Come behind me, bro. I can zone control. Trust me. Yeah, go. Why are they teaming, bro? Sorry. I'm about to die. I'm knocked. Okay, so look at this. I, I don't even know. Something turned out bad, but a 4v1 against my teammate. So Fabian eventually died, and after this match, cross-teaming was banned, or removed, you might say. So the 4v1, it's not actually valid, but hey, they, they you know, they counted it. On to round two. We landed to the left of that pillar base, Pillar Peak, and this time we hit Kingmaker Isle. I think um, you want people that? coming towards us. I'm gonna get one of you these. You take one, I take one. Uh, electro card, that's garbage. Lightning clone. Yeah, you should get a weapon ASAP. Honestly, it wasn't that optimal There's for loot, but here. we also got Stormbreaker for the second time, so you know what we have to do. Yeah. Why not? It's cool. Ooh, uh, take this. Do you want this? Take it. Take this. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of unfortunate, but this underground area was very, very cool and slept on because nobody went there, but the only time we went there, other players showed up. What's even funnier is that we both got glacial arcs, so we had goaded trackstar builds. It's almost like the game really wanted us to hide and run away, so you know, we did that. Okay, nice. That's good. Okay, there's someone doing... Okay, nice. Let's pull up. Move. My, my bad, bro. Okay, let's like see when we do stuff. Take some deep breaths. We got it. We got it. These guys, we this a crippled blade user. We just gotta stay positive. Hit him. Oh, it, nice. He had a parry. Ah, uh, come on, man. Oh, nice. That was good. That guy took a lot of damage. Nah, he's an asshole, bro. This oh, what you get. yo, nice. Keep on this doing what that. you get, bro. No, no, no. Yo, he's out like, too. You are not staying up there. We want to get like um, head protection from the bomb, but that should do it. That's super. Okay, come up, come up, bro. Okay, hit him, hit him with the crit. Hit him with the crit. He's he's isolated. This time we fell down and had to fight in the middle of the Colosseum, and the void messed everybody up. And with this sudden death thing, I kind of sold by backing up, but all the players died instantly. Apparently the devs did not like sudden death, so after this round it was removed, but the points still counted. Oh dude, we got we got, we got third place. We got third place. We got third place. During round three, halfway through, we wanted to be a little bit more aggressive, dropping down at the marketplace right next to the Coliseum. Um Drop down. Ooh, go in the city right now, bro. You have to. Okay. A lot of players were around here and the close calls got insane. Um, let's see what this is. Oh, blazing oh, enchant stone, you want this? Blazing? Yeah. That'd be super good. Cheers of eating kite. I don't, I don't really want that. Ossification. Ossification nemesis. What do you want? Once again, oh, both of us go. got some wacky heavy weapons. It's not my strongest option, but this time we had to abuse Shadow Seekers. Nice. Okay. Okay, we run. We run too many people, bro. And it's not Gozu. I know Gozu is a threat. Okay, let's. But I, let's I like that the really good players like Colin and shit and Nogo are never getting loot. So they don't know where to go. So we do have an advantage. In this round, we were trying to hunt some people and Lord Lancelot, Nogo, pulled up and started boxing. And I'm not gonna lie, my partner and I both got mixed up because he was pretty laggy. And of course, Nogo is good, but trust me, you don't really want to fight this. Oh, super good, bro. 
Nicky, I need some help. I'm about to okay. die. Opponent. Yeah, I'm about to die. Oh my god. Okay, bro. uh. Okay, I'm gonna fire my bomb. Life. Okay, I'm running. Yeah, that's fine. You can. At this point, my teammate Fabian is running away at like 5 HP, and I had okay, to fend nice, off Nogo one. and his teammates. This I'm full HP. Okay, I need to be graceful. Is this still on you, by the way? Yeah, he's on me. Yeah, I kinda got no choice. Okay, um. Alright, so if the storm catches up, I'm dead. If it doesn't, that's good. Honestly though, we took that W because the RNG oh, gods blessed us bro. once again we with Graceful died. Flame, like so that was awesome. But it's fine, we got up some damage, we got some combat tags on them. Eventually yeah. we were back, spamming down Shadow There's Seekers, no but for some reason, it. during this round, all our other mantras kept breaking. Like, my moves don't work, bro. What the don't hell? Don't attack Trunks, don't attack Trunks, bro. It's time to go. Okay, dip, dip. Just dip. Do your, uh, Shadow Seekers. Watch out. I got it, I got it, I got a pack. Okay, do your Shadow Seekers. Yeah, you got it. And just run. My moves don't work. Way. Come to me, come to me. Yeah, you, you see, they don't run around once. Yo, just heal up, bro. Heal up, heal up. That's right. Hold up. And I got a graceful. I'm almost dead. Come here. It's your chance, bro. I'll keep him up. Uh, I can't make it up. Oh, watch out. Yo, what the heck? Great. That did half my health. Okay. Uh, that guy's dead. Whoever that was died. Oh, he died? Okay, come I think in. so. Go no, to I me, think... go to me. No, 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 no don't engage. Let, let's get a bit more uh, full. Come here. Let's just spit. We get full, we attack, okay? That's the plan. Okay, I'm full right now. Okay, that's perfect. He's low. He's low as hell. Honestly, we should probably kill him. They're coming, the tree. I mean, the great school. There's, there's someone else in the tree speaking. I mean, speaking on each other, by the way. Okay, uh, try to move to me, by the way. There Come you go. To me. Top four, and we have our place secured. Alright, I'm gonna get some damage off. Okay, I got a grip for somebody. No! <laughs> no! At the very end, I'm not gonna lie, fighting Supa, Valakis, and Nogo was scary because in Circle Deep Crusher was just insanely hard to fight in lag, but we did pretty well and we were reaching the top of the leaderboard. Okay, you good, Punchy? Oh my god, we got it, bro. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Yes. Top two. Let's see that points. Yeah, let's Top go. three, nice. We keep it up, we get a title, bro. Once again, for that fourth round, we dropped down to the Kingsmaker Isle, and the uh, loot was straight garbage. The only nice thing good out of this start was the cringe Lights Final Toll combo that my boy Fabian picked up wait, wait, with, like, the hat and everything, but, you know, I was not happy about my weapon. I guarantee oh he's, he's probably pretty low, honestly. I'm getting messed up. Uh, come my way. With this match, there was so much less opportunity to fight since we had no armor and we wanted to play it safe. Finding a new place and getting armor was the move and we tried to get closer, but once again, I sold by picking up a heavy weapon because I was getting scared about, you know, doing no damage. Like, make us lose all. Yo, use the bomb on him. Yo, you're getting dumped. He did the crit. Uh, don't engage. Come back, come back. Who are these? Right. Eventually, I got packed up for being in between two players, and Fabian had to hold it down by dodging everybody forever. So my teammate was goaded, I'm not even gonna lie, but he was so successful for finessing everybody and lagging out, so yeah. Maybe he was TPing. Eventually, the final round was upon us, and it was going to be insane. All points were doubled, and it was time to take action. Um, no. I'm gonna get one of these, get the mantra. If it works, it works. Uh, so we dropped again at Pillar Peak, and immediately I'm the like, curse was upon me low. again. I was stuck with a damn enforcer hammer, but this time I had Yun Shoal. Where are you at? Um, I'm in the this uh the marketplace. Markers and Harry there. Pretty good weapon. 
Okay, I'm, I have Yuncho on this. With no armor and no weapons, we had to bargain with the enemy and see what was really happening, but like earlier, we could not team up. We didn't know how difficult it would be to chase Always AFK, who is a speedrunner YouTuber, but it was tough, so, you know, we couldn't catch him. by himself. Do you want to grip him? The stakes were high, and it was required we take out Fallen's team in order to achieve that high ranking that we were hoping for. Yeah, uh, you want him? What do you, what do you have? What do you have? Okay, oh, this guy's almost dead. Nice, he's Kill. almost dead. Kill him. Nice, got him. You got Fallen? No, no, no. Let's see you. Okay. Okay, look for Fallen, bro. We got Fallen right now. We got a title. Think of it. After fighting and stealing a few grips, I had some issues with Supa's second deep crusher, which left everything to my teammate outside. Fabian. Outside, get up. Keep doing arrow gliding. That's our only way, bro. Yeah, don't go inside. Don't bring him to me. Damn, bro. I'm not, I'm dead. Yeah, don't bring him to me, bro. Go the other way. Uh, nah, I'm good. And seriously, Fabian delivered. That man finessed his way for so long and just dodged and weaved the entire time that Fallen's team died before us, allowing us to hit third place. The battle royale had finally finished, and that was crazy, but if we had killed Always AFK right here, we would have placed second place and taken that lightborn from Agamatsu, but what happened already happened. I'm super happy with my results, since we finessed the entire time in very high pin conditions. I also want to congratulate all the other winners and the dev team for making an event super enjoyable for everybody if you want to play battle royale in game make sure to comment down below how much you want it and hopefully the devs will listen as always make sure to like and subscribe because we just hit 55k which is huge and have a good one it's punching time